ठीक है मूविंग फर्दर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अगेन अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वर एबल टू सॉल्व दिस ठीक है लेट्स सी माइनस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द राइट आंसर लेट्स सी एफ एक्स इज अ क्यूबिक पॉलिनोमल विथ कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स क्यूब एज वन ठीक है एंड एफ ऑफ जीरो इज गिवन एज माइनस सिक्सटी फोर ओके Nothing about the values at other point is given. So let's assume f x to be a cubic polynomial, say x cube. I'll assume a general term x square plus b x plus sorry minus sixty four. Right? This has to be the general term for f x because leading coefficient is one and f of zero is minus sixty four. And it is given that it has non-negative real roots, right? So let's say root b, p, q, and r. All the roots are positive. It can be greater than equals to zero as well, non-negative. Okay, find the largest value of f of minus one. ठीक है. What is f of minus one? Again, there can be better methods. You can tell me, but yeah, I would have just gone in in a traditional method because nothing is actually clicking me at this moment. That what I have to do. So minus one is this is minus one. So this is minus sixty four. So this is a minus b minus sixty four. I have to. Maximize this, which means I have to maximize a, and I have to minimize b. These are the two things I would have gotten from the question, right? I know what is a. A is this, and b is this. So what I would have done is a is the sum of all the roots, right? So I would have said sum of all the root is p plus q plus r. Okay, I would have actually applied a m greater than equals to g m. Okay, and and I would have said I would have applied a m greater than equals to g m on p q r because these are non-negative numbers. I would have said p plus q plus r by three should be greater than equals to p q r to the power one by three. ठीक है p q r is nothing but p q r is the multiplication of the roots, which is minus sixty four. So this is minus sixty four to the power one by three, which is minus four. So यहाँ से मुझे मिल गया p plus q plus r has to be greater than equals to minus two. p plus q plus r is nothing but minus eight. Right, sum of the root is nothing but minus plus. Okay, sorry, sorry. This will be minus. Right, p q r will be plus sixty four because signs go alternate. Right, I'll have a minus here, I'll have a plus here, I'll have a minus here. So minus into minus is plus. This is sixty four to the power one by three. So this has to be plus four. P plus q plus r is nothing but minus a. Minus a has to be greater than equals to twelve, which means a has to be less than equals to minus twelve. Which means A का मैक्सिमम वैल्यू कैन बी माइनस ट्वेल्व तो ए मैक्सिमम इज नथिंग बट माइनस ट्वेल्व अब मुझे बी मिनिमम निकालना है बी मिनिमम इज वॉट बी इज द सम ऑफ द रूट टीप इन टू एट ए टाइम पी क्यू क्यू आर एंड आर पी देन अगेन आई विल अप्लाई एम ग्रेटर देन इक्वल्स टू जी एम आई विल गेट पी क्यू आर टू द पार टू बाय थ्री राइट बिकॉज पी क्यू इंटू क्यू आर प्लस आर इंटू आर पी टू द पार वन बाय थ्री एंड दिस इज वॉट यू गेट P Q R to the power two by three. P Q R is again four. P Q R to the power one by three is four. Square is sixteen. This is sixteen. P Q plus Q R plus R P is nothing but B. B is greater than equals to forty eight. So B is greater than equals to forty eight, which means the minimum value of B is nothing but forty eight. So f of minus one maximum can be minus twelve plus forty eight minus sixty five plus forty eight. That's right. And if you just solve this, I think you will get your answer. Will this be plus forty-eight or minus forty-eight? I think it should be plus, right? Just let me know if I have made any sign mistake here. Now P Q R correct. So some minus plus minus. Some of the root is three. Correct. This looks correct. To minus P greater than forty. Hmm? Minus B तो नहीं है भाई। No B का coefficient has to be positive अभी ना, because x square plus b x this is minus this is plus, so B has to be greater than equals to forty eight. So this looks correct to me. Okay okay, this is a a minus a minus b right? So a is minus twelve, b this is minus b, so this is minus forty eight. This is minus six sixty five. So minus forty eight minus twenty twelve is minus sixty. Minus sixty minus sixty five is minus one twenty five. Has to be the final answer. Is this clear? Just take thirty seconds. Absorb this. 
a very classic question, more of an aim to an aim question than a graph question, than a function question. Okay, that's great. Let's move on. Next question. Chalo, let's let's solve this question. Then we will chit chat once. So I first factorized it. Okay, how did you do it? it as Can you factorize this? Cube into x plus two plus two x square into x plus two minus two. So it becomes x into x plus two. The Come again, slowly, two. slowly. I mean, uh, you're not quite audible. Yeah, how did you factorize uh, this? So I wrote it as x cube into x plus two. X cube into x plus two. Okay. Plus two x square into x plus two. Plus two x cube. Two x squared. Two x squared. Into x plus two. Into is it's multiplied by x plus two. Okay. Okay. It's okay. X plus two inside the bracket. Not two x plus two inside the bracket. X plus two inside the bracket. Okay. X plus two inside the bracket. Okay. Uh, minus two at the end. <laughs> minus two. Minus two. So this becomes x into x plus two. The complete whole square minus two. Okay. This is f of f of x, right? Yeah. This is f of f of x. Yes. This becomes x plus two into. X cube plus two x square minus two. Okay. Uh, no, no. It becomes x into x plus two, the whole square. Because if you take out x plus two common from the first two, you get x cube plus two x square into x plus two, and from there you can take out x square common. That becomes x square into x plus two okay, okay, square. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. So very good, Abhinay. Uh, Like really good job on like you know guessing this difficult pattern. It was not at all an easy pattern that anyone could have visualized. But yeah, let's let's try to discuss this problem at least. Yes, this was a problem that could have been left in exam or like you know even in mocks. Though I think this is that problem which looks like yeah, you'll be able to solve it. Function say hey, function f of f x is given. F of two nikalna hai. You'll be able to solve it. But once you start solving it, you get stuck in it. So this is definitely that problem which consumes a lot of time, and then you may have to leave it at that. Or if you leave it, then it will take you five minutes, six minutes. But let's try to understand this. Ki, what is that concept that we can extract out of it? See, f of f x is given to you, and you have to find the value of f of two, which means you have to essentially calculate f x here. That is your only job. F of f x. So you have to get f of x. You have to get f of x. You have to get f of x. That is what you need to calculate. If you crack that, the question is a cakewalk. Now we'll have to make some hints here, right? That f x can be what? By visualization, we can say if f of f x is a power four equation, so f x will be a square equation, right? And I know that coefficient of x square has to be one because here coefficient of x to the power four is one, right? So let's say this is x square plus some b x plus c. Right? This is the general thing that should definitely click us when we are trying to solve this question. Then what all other information is given to me? If f x is given, then the next thing that I would do is I would calculate f of f x, and then I would equate it, and then calculate all the coefficients. I have to find b and c, right? So what is f of f x? This is nothing but x square plus b x plus c whole square, right? X. I have to substitute f x in place of x, right? Then b into x square plus b x plus c, and then plus c. This is what we get, right? After solving this, now let's solve this slightly further. A plus B plus C whole square is A square plus B square plus C square plus two AB plus two BC plus two CA. This is the term that is given. Then you would just try to like you know club coefficients of x, and you finally get x to the power four. X cube ka coefficient yahan se nahi aayega. It will be two AB right? Two B X cube. That is the only way you can have X cube term here. Then x square me you can have b square x square. You already have a b b x square here. So if you just club the terms again, this is something you'll have to do it. I'm just trying to visualize the pattern here. This is what you get, right? Two b x because yeah, 
B square plus 2C plus B is what you will get when you just, you just have to square it and then club all the X square value coefficient. That is it. Here B aega, so this is B. Here you will have two coefficients. Take it. One is 2AC aega, 2C into X square. So I've written 2C here. And second will be this guy square B square. That is the only way. Then, but the ki terms guys, if you want to write X, ki, it is not even required, right? Because now we can actually see 2B X cube is equals to 4X cube. So B has to be equals to 2. We have already calculated B ka value. B is 2, right? If B is 2, one way is X square. We already have already If it doesn't get that, then see, even, even this is not required because you can just directly write constant. Constant kya hoga? It has to be C square, right? Plus BC plus C, right? And I know this constant has to be minus 2. So B ka value 2 ho gaya. This is minus 2, right? So then we, then you can solve it further. C ki do values hai. Either that, agar quality solve nahi karni, then from this particular expression you can solve. B square plus 2C plus B should be equals to coefficient of X square. That is 4. B is 2. So 4, 4 get cancelled. B is 2. So 2C plus 2 is equals to 0. So C is equals to minus 1. C minus 1 aagya. Hai. And B ka value ki aagya, 2 aagya. So this is X square plus 2x minus 1 is your fx. Then just put the value x equals to 2, 4 plus 4 minus 1. Just a minute. 4 plus 4, 8 minus 1 equals to 7 is your answer. That is. So the only thing that was important here is ki how do you visualize fx and how faster can you solve it? Abhi yaha pe time ka waste hota when you try to write x because wo kuch aega, then you try to write constant. Is it really required? That is what you need to ask yourself. Directly, here you had to write the whole Directly, x cube and x square, so you can calculate b and then you can calculate c. That is it. We have not constant use liya because that's a square, so it quadratic banega and that will be difficult to solve. Then how do you eliminate one value of c? Again, depends on this equation. So it was not required. Okay. Similarly, x ka coefficient se bhi you, you, you could have solved. Wahan pe bhi, I think it comes out as 2bc plus b square. So either way, either way is fine. And the first concept was that fx has to be a quadratic polynomial. And only then I can have an have a term of x to the power 4 inside. So again, a very, very difficult question, I would say. But yeah, important learning. So moving to the last question of functions. This one. Again, a brilliant question. Because last question has to be the best. Again, I will say difficult question though. Take it, but let's learn. That is what this workshops are for. That we'll solve those difficult questions that we would have left in, in exams, right? So what is given to us? What is given to us is fx is a four degree polynomial, right? Which means we'll assume fx to be ax to the power four plus bx cube plus cx square plus dx plus e, right? And what is given to us is fx is also equals to 1 by x for x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, these are the two things that is given to me. Ki fx is a 4 degree polynomial. Hai, but for these five values, fx ki value becomes 1 by n. And f of 0 is a by b where n, b are co prime positive integers. You have to find the value of a plus b, right? So f of 0 is what? f of 0 is nothing but e, right? So which means I have to calculate the value of e. Mujhe e nikalna padega. And then I will put it in the format of a by b and then solve it. And then a plus b nikal now. That is what is asked in the question. So now I definitely cannot do anything here because no information is given to me. But I can definitely look at this fx is equals to 1 by x. So if I have to rewrite this, can I rewrite this as x into fx minus 1 equals to 0? Can I re rewrite this as x into fx minus 1 equals to 0 has five roots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because x fx minus 1 is equals to 0. This only holds true for x equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And for no other values, this will hold true. So now if you see what is this x into fx, fx was a polynomial four degree equation. If you sub if you multiply that with x, this will again become a five degree equation. So this is now as good as ax to the power 5 plus bx to the power 4 
प्लस सी एक्स क्यूब अगेन दिस इज अ डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन सो डोंट बी डिस अगर ये नहीं हुआ माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज अ फाइव डिग्री इक्वेशन और इसके रूट भी आपको गिवन है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव आर द रूट ऑफ दिस एक्सप्रेशन तब तो इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग राइट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ई राइट बिकॉज एफ ऑफ जीरो इज नथिंग बट ई ई निकालना है ध्यान रखना अभी ई कैसे निकलेगा मुझे पता है सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन फोर एट ए टाइम इज दिस इज माइनस प्लस माइनस प्लस सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन फोर एट ए टाइम इज ई बाय ए ई निकालने के लिए पहले तो मुझे ए निकालना पड़ेगा राइट right? ए कैसे निकलेगा ए इज नथिंग बट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल द रूट प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ऑल द रूट इज फाइव फैक्टोरियल विच इज वन ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी इज नथिंग बट दिस इज वन बाय ए सो मैंने ए का वैल्यू निकाल लिया ए इज वन बाय वन ट्वेंटी ठीक है इफ आई है कैलकुलेटेड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए अभी ई क्या होगा माइनस प्लस माइनस प्लस सो ई बाय ए इज नथिंग बट सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन फोर एट ए टाइम ठीक है सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन फोर एट ए टाइम क्या करूंगा फोर फैक्टोरियल ठीक है फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इंटू वन इज वॉट मतलब फाइव नंबर राइट फोर फैक्टोरियल इज ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस और वॉट यू कैन डू इज फाइव फैक्टोरियल इज वन ट्वेंटी यू विल जस्ट कीप ऑन रिमूविंग वन नंबर एट ए टाइम लेट्स रिमूव फाइव फाइव को हटाया सो दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी बाई फाइव ट्वेंटी फोर इफ यू रिमूव फोर दिस बिकम्स थर्टी इफ यू रिमूव थ्री दिस बिकम्स फोर्टी इफ यू रिमूव टू दिस बिकम्स सिक्सटी इफ यू रिमूव वन दिस बिकम्स वन ट्वेंटी This is what comes out. If you just add this, this is nothing but two seventy four. ठीक है. So e is nothing but e is nothing but two seventy four into a. A was one twenty. So two seventy four upon one twenty. But it is given to you. E my a and b are co prime positive integers. So this is one thirty nine by sixty. Sorry, one thirty seven. One thirty seven by sixty is the value of E, which means A is one thirty seven and B is sixty. So A plus B is nothing but one ninety seven. Again, I think this was like the question that involves everything. हमने अभी तक जो भी जितने भी advanced equations पढ़े, advanced equations का सारा concept यहाँ पे applicable है and functions का भी. First thing, don't focus on noting it down. Focus on understanding. Is this clear? कि मैंने क्या किया, कैसे किया? again i'll admit it was not something that could have been thought in an exam format but yeah something that you can learn now so that if you see such questions you know what are the different ways of approaching it theek hai maine kar diya product of the root is equals to 1 by because i had to calculate the value of theek hai then i then see essentially yes, i have to calculate the value of e because f of 0 is e right ab e kaise nikalunga e is basically x का कॉफिशियंट सो आई हैव टॉट यू कि ई बाय ए विल बी सम ऑफ द रूट्स टेकन फोर एट ए टाइम यू रिमेंबर दिस एक्स टू द पावर स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स प्लस वन में लाइक इफ इट इज अ क्वालिटिक इक्वेशन देन सम ऑफ द रूट इज टेकन इफ इट इज अ क्यूबिक इक्वेशन देन वॉट वी डू इज सम ऑफ द रूट इज दिस सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन टू एट ए टाइम ए बी पी क्यू प्लस क्यू आर प्लस आर पी इज इक्वल टू कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स Similarly, it keeps on increasing. So, because this is a five-degree equation, यहाँ पे sum of the roots से b आएगा. Sum of the roots taken two at a time, which means five c two. There will be ten variables. कि p q plus q r plus r s plus s t ऐसे ऐसे करके जो 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 भी दो-दो के pair बनेंगे उससे c आएगा. Sum of the roots taken three at a time, which is p q r plus q r s plus r s t करके जो values आएगी that is d. Sum of the roots taken four at a time, p q r s plus q r s t प्लस आर एस टी बी ऐसे करके फाइव सी फोर टोटल पांच पेयर्स होंगे उससे वैल्यू ई आएगी सो वही मैंने किया है कि ये मैंने क्या किया वन इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर सम ऑफ द रूट टेकन फोर एट टाइम वन इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर इज ट्वेंटी फोर देन ये ले लिया फिर एक बार ये लेता हूँ टू इंटू थ्री इंटू फोर इंटू फाइव इज वॉट वन ट्वेंटी ये वन ट्वेंटी आ गया फिर मे बी फाइव फोर थ्री और वन ले लूंगा सो दिस यहाँ से सिक्सटी आ जाएगा फिर मे बी फाइव फोर और टू ले लूंगा फाइव फोर जो ट्वेंटी इंटू टू फोर्टी हो जाएगा ऐसे करके किया है मैंने ठीक है चार चार के पेयर बनाए या तो तुम तो मैन्युअली कर लो या फिर चार पेयर मल्टीपल डिवाइडेड बाय वन पेयर सो पांचों का मल्टीपल इज वन ट्वेंटी तो बस एक एक से डिवाइड करते जाओ वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय वन से एक वैल्यू आएगी वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय टू से सेकंड वैल्यू आएगी वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय फोर एंड वन ट्वेंटी डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव ऐसे पांच टर्म्स आ जाएगी 
इट रिक्वायर्स थिंग इसमें सोचना पड़ेगा इट इज डिफिकल्ट एंड थोड़ा सा एडवांस्ड है बट अगेन सर इसमें एक चीज कर सकते थे डायरेक्टली लाइक like मैंने ऐसे किया कि सिंस वैल्यूज डाल के 1 बाय n आ रहा था तो मैंने एक इक्वेशन लिखी सो x 1 x 2 अप टू x 5 मतलब मल्टीप्लाई x minus one हाँ up to x minus five multiply like all of this is like multi care and इसके नीचे five factorial divided by five factorial this is fx हाँ I yeah so this divided by five factorial and this whole thing multiplied by one uh, by x minus one plus one by x minus two plus one by x minus three one by x minus one Plus one by x minus two, so until x minus five. So, वो जब multiply होगा तो हमेशा like कोई four degree का term बचेगा, right? ठीक है, four degree बनेगा। तो हाँ, and कोई भी अगर हम किसी को भी factor डालेंगे, suppose x is equal to two डाला, तो except वो second वाला term जहाँ पे x minus two x minus two cancel हो जाएगा, right? तो हमारे पास बाकी सब जीरो आ जाएंगे एंड ऊपर वन फोर वन थ्री फोर फाइव कैंसिल हो जाएगा नीचे वाले फाइव फैक्टर okay, okay. तो वन बाय टू आ जाएगा बट यार अगेन अ वेरी वेरी आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स थिंकिंग व्हिच इज रेयर बट यार ब्रिलियंट इफ इफ यू आर एबल टू डायरेक्टली राइट एफएक्स नथिंग बेटर देन दैट बट आई थिंक इसमें भी टाइम लगेगा इवन दिस वुड हैव टेकन यू एटलीस्ट 3 मिनट्स 2 3 मिनट्स हां थोड़ा टाइम ठीक है फाइन Okay. Anyone has any other question? Is the polynomial defined at one, two, three, four, five? Nothing is given to us. It's a four-degree polynomial, so yeah, should be defined. So the such a uh, solution that Utsav suggested, dear the f of x, uh, will it be uh, defined at one, two, three, four, five? Because it's one upon x minus one, one upon x minus n. Hmm. आई थिंक वो जब मल्टीप्लाई होगा तो हमेशा कैंसिल भी हो जाएगा ना करेक्ट सो सी विश्वजीत आई थिंक व्हाट व्हाट उत्सव इज सेइंग इज ऑफ कोर्स फंक्शन को तुम जब सिंपलीफाई करोगे ना सो ये सारा डिनोमिनेटर टर्म सट जाएगा सो व्हाट ही इज सेइंग इज फंक्शन इज x 2 3 4 5 5 फैक्टोरियल 1 3 4 5 4 फैक्टोरियल एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा तो फंक्शन इज ऑलवेज डिफाइंड बिकॉज़ इट्स पॉलीनोमियल बट दिस इज जस्ट अ वे ऑफ थिंकिंग बिकॉज़ दिस इज गिवन टू अस गॉट इट ठीक है good at self so i think with this we complete the functions ka pura part theek okay, hai next we'll have graphs i will let you know not this week definitely not next week as well i'm traveling but yeah i will announce whenever we have next session meanwhile anyone yeah first of all at least what is your confidence level now i know it what it was i think it was around 6 when we started so what is it now are you feeling confident coach is it helpful questions were difficult last wali questions were really difficult so it's okay now you at least know how these questions need to be attempted but yeah questions that even i would have left in exam probably in 2 minutes se zyada hi lagenge last two questions so what is your confidence level now on this topic just comment on a scale of 10 how confident do you feel now of course needs to you need to go back revise it even today itself so that you can close this topic now abhinav that's great you are definitely so, functions me se kitna aata hai cat or non cat dono mein uh you know जैसे लास्ट ईयर दो तीन क्वेश्चंस आए थे बट जो क्वेश्चंस आए थे ना मतलब इस टाइप के जो लास्ट के दो क्वेश्चंस मैंने कराए ये मैंने एडवांस करा दिए कि अगर वर्स्ट केस में दिस विल हेल्प यू मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस जो आएंगे ना वो उस टाइप के होंगे फॉर एग्जांपल जो हमने ये वाला किया था राइट x टू द पावर n तो इसके क्वेश्चंस लास्ट ईयर जैसे दो तीन क्वेश्चंस आए थे बट वो सारे क्वेश्चन इजी वाले थे जहां पे हमको फंक्शन अज्यूम करना है इफ यू रिमेंबर मैंने एक स्लाइड में सारे फंक्शंस बताए थे कि अगर ऐसा हो रहा है तो फंक्शन ये होगा ऐसा होगा तो फंक्शन वो होगा तो उस टाइप के सिंपल क्वेश्चंस आए थे जो लाइक थर्टी फोर्टी सेकेंड्स के थे ठीक है है और नॉन कैट में भी ऐसे ही थोड़ा सा ज्यादा आता है अच्छा
सर आई हैव अ डाउट इन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन या विशाल सर आई हैव अ डाउट इन फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन फिफ्थ कौन सा बता दो अ अ लीनियर पॉलीनोमियल विद पॉजिटिव इंटीजर कोफिशिएंट सेटिस्फाइज द वन एक सेकंड हां बताओ हां दिस वन सर एक्चुअली इन दिस आई हैव टेकन दैट व्हाटएवर यू हैव रिटन नाउ ए एक्स प्लस बी सो आई डिड इन सेम वे बट ए आई गॉट 188 बट बी आई वाज गेटिंग नेगेटिव ओके बट इन क्वेश्चन इट इज रिटन दैट बोथ द कोफिशिएंट्स आर पॉजिटिव सो आई वाज नॉट गेटिंग through this equation i was not getting correct coefficients from this equation okay okay let's check matlab method to wahi hai kuch calculation bhi hua hoga else to i don't see reason let's see hamara kitna aaya tha we got kx so k is positive then minus 12 into 188 2088 minus 12 into 188 so this is what 1880 and uh, 3 is 300 plus so yes this is negative b negative aa raha hai hamara which means equation mein kuch galti hai yeah theek hai integral coefficient hoga ye thanks ha ha okay theek hai and theek uh, i think that pretty much covers and uh, guys for i think for all the batch 3 students kal we have uh, like i'm taking a live session tomorrow i will i will announce it it is not questions practice was of need it is more about last 4 months ka plan and uh, the batch 3 ka orientation so especially all the batch students you may want to attend it ki what all things you have to compulsorily do so it is more of an orientation of batch 3 where i'll cover a typical journey ki kya kya cheeze tumko complete karni hai before cat okay it will be youtube live and uh, i will announce the timings most likely it will be in the evening or around 9 pm onwards ठीक है दैट्स प्रीटी मच गाइस इफ यू हैव एनीथिंग टू आस्क वी कैन डिस्कस एल्स वी कैन फाइंड द सेशन ओके दैट्स ग्रेट देन और हैव अ गुड सैटरडे गाइस एंड कीप टेकिंग मॉक्स एंड स्टे कनेक्टेड विद मी मुझे इस कोर्स बता दिया करो आल्सो आई सपोज ऑल ऑफ यू शुड बी इन द ग्रुप मैराथन इवेंट्स इफ यू आर नॉट गाइस ऐड हो जाओ वी ऑलरेडी हैड अ क्विज दैट इज द ग्रुप वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इन द लास्ट 3 मंथ्स and it is only for practice i will post important concepts from my side important trick shortcuts and we will solve some advanced and like you know tricky questions here in this group so iska link i have already sent to everyone in this otherwise for the students who are not a part of personalized mentorship or batch one for you you can join this program at a cost of 3000 yeah that's pretty much about it theek hai okay guys bye bye have a good saturday Thank you.